Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Table Talk. I have none other than our assistant head coach, Mr. John Nadu. How are you doing? I'm good, I'm good. Happy to be here, thank you. Excited to have you for another season, coach. Um, let's learn a little bit about your background with this game. Uh, it's how much time do we have? Um, basically, as a player, um, I didn't really get kick-started until about grade 10. Um, basically, just I was actually almost on a Broncos team when I was younger, but it just it didn't work out. You know, mom and dad worked two, three jobs a piece. Um, getting around down is just not something that's going to happen. Um, so I, I, I watched my brother go through it. Um, he played for the Broncos and went on to uh, high school and then Colts and even to Stan Peters camps with uh, Wally Buono way back when. Oh. Um, so I admired watching him play, um, which was an interesting thing when I was actually a head coach with uh, the Wolfpack. He actually came out because he still had something left in the tank. Wow. Um, so I, instead of just being the guy watching you know, your, your brother growing up, you're actually watching him and coaching him at the same time, okay. um, which I also had my son as well uh, play for the team. Um, but yeah, no, as a player, I, uh, I won a city championship. Uh, back then we played in uh, the Man Stadium. Mm -hmm. um, we had that concrete turf. Right. Right. Like mm -hmm. we, we, we didn't even have cleats. We were told basically runners. So it was a whole different experience when we got there. Um, so everybody's just slipping and sliding. And it's almost like a hidden rule between the teams. Uh, do not hit each other too hard on the ground because <laughs> it's going to hurt. Oh gosh. Um, but yeah, it uh, just went on to there and seniors. and. Um, then obviously your family uh, kicks in, so you got to make decisions. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I held off on that for a long time. And uh, it was actually a, a coach, uh, Rob Watson, that came to me and I was just uh, coaching uh, basketball at that time uh, for my, my kids. And uh, he uh, basically he said, hey, you got to have your son come play uh, football. So, and that's where the coaching kicked in for football for me. Okay. Uh, so that was way back in 2010. Um, and then gradually, as your kids move on, you grow with them and stuff like that. But uh, I always remembered as a player, when it, it was coaches or whatever, you always had the, the ones that would care less about you. Yes. Um, so I always made myself available to any player. Don't care if you have one leg, one arm, whatever it might be. Um, I rook you to the game uh, or if you've been playing for 10 years. Um, if you need my help, I'm going to do the best I can to, to make you better. Um, eventually, uh, I was the only one doing the football thing and the, the family was uh, patient enough with me. Uh, and thank God my lovely wife uh, uh, gives me that, uh, that leash to, to do what I love doing. I, I truly love uh, this game, um, but there, there's so many different levels to it. It's not just about winning games. Um, it's getting to know players, uh, knowing their families, um, being involved in a community, uh, growing a brand basically of whatever team you're with as well. Um, and it, that just expands out throughout the AFL. And even though we're competing on a regular basis, we are a whole brotherhood overall. So at the end of the game, like some will ask, why do you guys take a knee in a circle? Mm -hmm. And they're not used to it because they're just like, you guys were just beating each other up, killing each other basically on the field. Um, he's like, this is different, yes. right? You have to be involved to understand it, yep. right? Um, well, yeah, no, I've, I guess coaching wise, I've, I've been head coach for Cowboys with uh, Al Cooper um, on the gray. I was with the Navy. Uh, I took over raids for uh, Tony Spallantini, um, great man. Uh, Don Bolden kind of grew me as a head coach as well because it's it's overwhelming, you know. You yes. get a, it's a very strong program that they have there, yep. um, very structured, um, which actually helps me along with what I'm helping with Anton as well. Uh, eventually, uh, the, they decided to go back to one team, um, but I, I've, I've coached midgets, spring league, uh, you know, selects, uh, summer games, uh, been head coach for Cowboys, head coach for Wolfpack for a couple of years. Um, then eventually I, I came on here. There's a couple of the players that kind of moved on and I, I still had unfinished business because um, in uh, 2019 we did win the AFL championship. Right. Um, we went on to nationals and that's still something I want to get. Absolutely. Um, that drive that keeps me going forward. Yeah. And I really find that the group that we have with the structure that this program has 
has the ability to do that. Amen to that, man. Um, how would you describe your coaching style? I know that you've had extensive experience. Uh, you, you put out some some big names there mm -hmm. uh, that you've gotten to work with uh, and some real characters. Um, how would you describe Coach Nadu's style? Uh, calm, collected. Um, I don't get overly excited from mistakes. Uh, you learn from them. Yeah. Um, I've learned from, uh, you actually learn a lot more from losing than you do winning. Hmm. Um, a yeah. lot of people don't seem to grasp that. They, they feel like, oh, I gotta win all the time. And it, there's been seasons where you could be 0 and 6, 0 and 8, whatever it might be. And you had a lot more fun in that year because you learned so much from it compared to just going through and it was effortless. Right. You didn't seem to enjoy it. Um, but I've had great coaches along the years, you know, mentoring me along, like I said, Rob Watson, Spallantini, um, Blair Lowry, Keon Raymond, you know, uh, there's been so many coaches that have grown me, mm -hmm. um, which helped me with my patience and understanding what players are needing, not only uh, on the field, but off the field as well, so that they're always prepared. That's right. right? That's right. Everything you describe embodies the culture that we're after, the kind of staff that we have, the values that we have in this, as an organization. Um, who are some people that you look up to that are doing it? Maybe NFL, CFL, any level um, that, that you really admire their work as well. Um, like, Nil was a, a great coach to watch. Okay. Um, he was a very calm character. You don't mess with that man. Um, I, I got to watch him scouting uh, sometimes when you watch the midget level. Right. Uh, just for up and comers and stuff and he loved to be just left alone so he can do his thing um, that was uh, just a huge man um, to be around um, but uh, you know uh, we got Andy Reid and you know uh, Belichick in the NFL where he, they seem you know one will be like a calm teddy bear yeah. right but his message gets across right, right. the guys won how many times yeah. I mean uh, same thing with Belichick. He, he just looks like a, a very angry person, <laughs> but I'm sure off the field he's probably one of the nicest people to get to meet. Right. You know, haven't had the pleasure of that yet, um, but uh, you never know. Exactly. You know, Gabe brings you all kinds of places. Exactly. Yes. Coach, it's an honor to have you back, uh, ladies and gentlemen. It's this head coach, John Nadu. See you on the next one.